Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone. How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Welcome to my channel. Um, thank you for being here. Um, if you are new to my channel, I do charm readings for Twin Flames. And uh, please subscribe if you like to see more readings for the collective Twin Flames, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. So the membership... Um, the members they did a uh, we had a poll and a lot of the members would like to see a divine masculine journey reading and there was also um, a tie between uh, two types of readings so um, i'm going to do the journey reading today and then we'll do the next one tomorrow so this is for the journey reading these are my medallion charms just to see uh, where the divine masculine is on his path at this time and just keep in mind that this is a general reading Okay, so for whoever this resonates for, this Divine Masculine here, he realized that Divine Feminine is a, is a blessing, okay? He realized that Divine Feminine is a huge blessing in his life. He realized that he was very unfair. He feels um, that the past, a lot of the things that were said and done, um, he did not, he did not have, um, he did not take divine feminine's feelings into consideration. It took him time to realize this because a lot of the things that he felt at that time were more of for self self purposes um he had to do a lot of inner work when he experienced personal things in his own life it made him do a lot of thinking and when he when he recognized something within himself that was not um I feel like he had a lack of faith and he didn't have the courage to be in a connection with Divine Feminine. The more he thought about it, the more he dug deeper, the more things that got revealed to the Divine Masculine about himself. When he met Divine Feminine, he was in awe. He was in awe of the Divine Feminine energy. Some cases he was really in awe of Divine Feminine's looks, appearance. He found, very, found Divine Fe Feminine very attractive. And this, uh, this kind of like grabbed the attention of Divine Masculine that he wanted to continue with, with that connection between him and Divine Feminine but not in a place of love. This was in a place of, feels like, it feels like he was, it feels like being drawn to something. It's like a, a bee to a flower. He was drawn to the divine feminine. He couldn't see beyond that. And it's showing here a lot that Divine Masculine was really interested in multiple things. Divine Masculine was not focused on what was in front of him, the love that was present before him. He took a lot of things for granted because he was 
his attention was like, I like this, I like this, I like this. And it doesn't necessarily have to be other people. It could be other things in life that grabbed this divine masculine's attention. He was distracted. But there was one specific thing that really pulled divine masculine away from the divine feminine. He thought that it would bring him his wish fulfillment. He thought it would bring him everything he wanted in life. I feel like it was something um, either of material, material gain, or something having to do with appearance-wise, popularity, how others um, see this divine masculine. He was drawn to something specific. Though there were many multiple things that he he was interested in, but there was one specific thing that really pulled him away from Divine Feminine. And he was so, I feel like he was so pulled. It feels like a quicksand. He was pulled in so deep that he could not even see. He could not even see what he was walking away from. What he thought was his dream, what he thought would bring him wish fulfillment, brought, brought a lot of heartache. I see here that there is a third party here. He was drawn to somebody else. He felt very lost once he connected with this person. Rather than growing as an individual, rather than um, becoming somebody very, um, when two meet, when two are in love, they can, they can build their empire together. They have the strength because they are supporting, loving each other, one another. And he expected this from this, this individual, but his dreams got shattered in this reading is showing here that he thought that this person he was with was the real deal. He thought this person was genuine. He thought this person was for real. What they say, what they do, how they look, they are the real deal. I feel like he thought he had a gold coin, like a gold medallion. But when he started to scrape the surface, it was just foil. You know, like those chocolate coins? <laughs> Peel off the foil and, and there's just chocolate in the middle. It's not even a real gold coin. This Divine Masculine thought he had the real thing. But when, when that, I feel like, um, when that illusion, that mask got removed, he was able to see the reality. That's when his dreams got shattered here. This divine masculine, I see him when he came towards divine feminine. He was not even a prince. He was just like, I feel like he was. I feel like he was not even a palace guard. This was somebody who. He's like a messenger. I'm here to, to say I love you and goodbye. He was not even part of that palace. He was not part of the divine kingdom. He was just a messenger. He was in and he was gone. It's showing here the energy that he, he came in with was a very, um, a very, um, quiet and and um subtle energy it was not the magnitude of divine love the strength of a divine masculine i don't see the power of divine masculine here when he entered the divine feminist life he was a messenger he just came to speak and he walked away it's like the words he spoke was not his own you know like the telegram it feels like a telegram 
The message, the words he spoke to the Divine Feminine was not his own. It was of someone else. And moving up ahead in the reading, I see here that a lot has been lost in this Divine Masculine. Loss of time, loss of energy, a lot of hard work, maybe even money. And when he came to that realization that this, this karmic individual was draining away the success of the divine masculine, success in all aspects of his life, not just material success, but even growth, this divine masculine started to, started to build his own strength. It gave him the strength to pull away from this karmic energy. Up ahead, I see here that this divine masculine disconnected from this karmic person because he came into a realization that divine feminine was the one, that divine feminine was a queen. And now he's trying to gather the strength to face this queen. He hasn't approached this queen yet, but he's planning movement. This is a divine masculine who wants to move. He may be preparing, he may be thinking, and it's showing here that he's trying to collect. He's trying to save. He's trying to build. I feel like he's maybe trying to save money. He's maybe trying to get things um, in order before he makes a move. He may even make a physical move, meaning he may move from a, one state to another, one place to another, move from one city to another. He's going to gather up the strength he needs to make a, I feel like, a big move. And when he does move, he will move straight towards Divine Feminine. He has not contacted this Divine Feminine yet. I see the movement is on hold here. But he has, he has the intention of moving forward for, it's, it's, his intentions are good. Because this has been something that has transformed this divine masculine into, into somebody who wants stability and who wants to give a solid foundation, a solid offer to the divine feminine. It's like the next, the next step. This is for union. This is a divine masculine is going for union. Right now, this Divine Masculine doesn't have the strength to face the Divine Feminine, to contact the Divine Feminine yet. They are in love. This Divine Masculine is deeply, madly in love. This is a Divine love. And this is the, this is the, I feel like Divine Masculine is like, this is the chance for me to move. This is the chance for me to reconnect, to build to have the family that I've always wanted. This Divine Masculine is trying to gather strength so he can have full reunion for with Divine Feminine so they can have they can have a loving life together and then they can do what they need to do on their mission work. The twin flame journey. They are going to prosper and there's going to be a lot of success for these two once they come into union it's just right now this divine masculine hasn't moved yet and he's trying to also gather the strength to reach out to divine feminine it's there the communication is up ahead but it's kind of like it's on hold at this moment the journey the journey up ahead looks good there is forward movement and this Divine Masculine will reach out to the Divine Feminine. He finds Divine Feminine so powerful, so beautiful. She's too beautiful for me. How can, how can someone like the Divine Feminine love someone like me? He knows Divine Feminine has love for him and he's, he's puzzled at why me? And he, I feel like He's lost for words. He doesn't know how to express his love to you. 
He's in awe. That's what it is. He's in awe at your beauty. Your divine beauty, your essence, your aura. He's, he's at awe. Okay? So this is the reading for today. This was the Divine Masculine Energy on His Journey. I hope you like this uh, medallion reading, charm reading. And if you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel for more charm readings for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.